Hello there, welcome to video number 41. This video is on function machines and um, is all about inputs and outputs. Um, a function machine is something that you put a number into, you do some calculations to it in an order, and then you get an output. Okay, there could be any number of, of parts to this function machine. The ones I've got, I've got two parts in my video. So uh, these words have been explained in other videos. If you haven't watched those, please do. Uh, with the exception of input and output, the input is the thing you get and you put in the be at the beginning and do the calculations to, and the output is the thing that you get at the end. Okay, so you'll be given the input or the output value. You could get either one. Start at the beginning if you've got an input and go forwards, doing the calculation as you go. And then if you're doing the it the other way around, you're going to get the output and you go backwards. And when you go backwards, you think of the inverse operation. So you have to reverse what the sign is or think of the inverse thing. And that's what we're going to be doing in question number two. But in question number one, we've got A to begin with. If A is three, that's our value, that's our input value. A multiplied by five, that will give us 15 because three multiplies by five to give 15. And then you take the 15 and you add 10. And if you add 10 to 15, you get 25. So I've got my output value of Y and that is now 25. Okay. In question B, I've got the same input value of 3, but we're going to do some different things to it. We're going to add 2 to it. 3 plus 2 is 5. And then 5 has to divide by this 5, and that will give you 1. Okay? So in this case, in B, Y would equal 1. Okay? So you can see that different things uh, that you do to the number as you go through the function machine give you a different output. Now in question 2, this is the one where we've got to start with uh, the output and go backwards and inverse things. So what is the input if the output is 12? Well, we're going to start with our 12 here. Okay, we're then going to multiply it by 3 because the opposite thing to divide in by 3 is multiplying by 3. And if we did that, we'd end up with 36. Okay, and then the opposite thing to, or the inverse thing to adding 7 is minusing 7. So if we think about that being in the box and that one was in the box there, we're going backwards through this machine and 36 take away 7 is 29. So that's what we get as our input value. Okay. Now, if we thought about the input value, now we've decided that that's what we think it is. We can always work it forwards and we'd add seven and we get 36 and we divide by three and we get 12. So it does definitely work. Uh, so our input value is 29. Okay. Move myself over to the other side of the screen and you will see the third question. The input is P and the output is 3P. Now, this is more algebraic, isn't it? We're not dealing with just numbers here. Um, find the value of P using the function machine. So let's put P into this machine. Now, if you um, watch my multiplying terms video, you'll see what I'm talking about here. Uh, and that's, I think, going to be the next one that I make, actually. So you might want to watch that one first and then come back to this. But P multiplied by 7 is written as 7P. OK. Uh, and once you've got the 7P, you're going to take away 13. All right. So 7P. And the only thing you can do to that, because it's not in the same family as, as the as the P term, is just put minus 13. OK. These are this is collecting some like terms here. So that was multiplying some terms. This is collecting the like terms. And we can see it's equal to 3p. OK. What we've actually done here is we've formed an equation of some sort. All right. Now, this is another um, topic, another separate video. It's going to be a, a two step equation to solve. Uh, and it's a pretty tricky one, actually. Um, so this is a fairly difficult third type question on this function machine topic. So I'd say that this isn't grade two. I'd say that this is much higher than grade two. It's probably a grade four sort of level of understanding, but it is something that you do need to understand for this particular skill. So uh, this is an equation which we can then solve. Um, we're going to take away that 3p from that side. So I'm going to minus the 3p. So I'm going to, here's my solving equations method. Take away the 3p. Take away the 3p from the 7p. You can only take it away from the 7p because it's only, that's the part of the same family. So 7p minus 3p is 4p. You got the minus 13 and, and it equals nothing on this side at the moment. Now you can add the 13 and you can add the 13 there. All right. And you'll get 13 is what 4p equals, because that minus 13 is gone because you added 13 to it. So that's disappeared, that's gone back to zero. All right, and the zeros had 13 added to it, so you've got 13. So what I've got there is 4p equals 13. 
I haven't quite got enough room to show the final answer, so I will just pop it up here. Now, to get rid of the number in front of um, the uh, letter of P, we're going to divide by 4. And again, this is understanding how to solve equations. Uh, please watch that video if you feel like you need to. All right, so we're going to divide by 4. And that would leave us with P equals 13 divided by 4. Okay. That is a way of writing our answer. That is fine. Um, again, it's top heavy fraction. We could turn it into a mixed number. We know it goes in three times one left over out of four. So you could write three and a quarter. And that's what I'm going to do. I like that uh, answer a little bit nicer than this one. But when we've done enough already, this is just enough to get all the marks on a question like this. All right. But I'm going to write it as three and a quarter because I've turned it into a mixed number. And again, it's another video that you could watch and see how to do that. So there's loads of maths going on in this question. It's a lovely one, but it started with our understanding of, of how to work forwards in a function machine. P multiplies by 7 to give you 7P. And then 7P has 13 taken away from it. And you write it like this. And then we end up with, with 3P on this side. This could be a number. could be a nicer question. But I made this one specifically uh, so I can show you loads of stuff that goes on in these types of questions. And then you just solve the equation as you go from there. And again, I'll do equations in a little bit more detail in the, its own video. All right, so please do like uh, if you've learned something, the video or subscribe to the channel um, if you can. Um, and yes, just continue to keep practicing and uh, being lovely, uh, saying nice things. Um, you don't need to say anything nasty um, through the comments section if you're doing that. I'm not sure why. What's the point? No need. Um, don't watch the videos if you're not interested in bettering yourself in maths. Watch the videos. Watch more of them if you are. All right, so thank you very much for supporting what I'm doing, if you are doing that currently. And uh, yeah, have a lovely whatever it is time of day. I keep saying evening because I'm doing these in the evening, but whatever it is, enjoy. See you next time.